Okay, in this section we're actually going to talk about deauthorizing your computer and signing out of the iTunes Store. The only time you would ever do this if you would if you knew that you were getting ready to get a new computer uh, on your desk uh, or you're getting ready to switch computers, then you would need to deauthorize your computer that you were using to to update the iPad so that you could reauthorize a different one. So the way you do that is you launch iTunes. Remember when you launch iTunes, you're probably going to have to uh, log in once, twice, 80 million times. Okay, iTunes is launched and you log in, maybe. There we go. All right, it's going to load up the store. And there's actually a certain order that you want to do this. Well, oh, one more time. What is that, three? That's actually not too bad. Typically, it's more than that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to move your mouse up to the store menu item in the menu. And you're going to go deauthorize the computer. You're going to put in your password. And choose deauthorize. computer's been successfully deauthorized, you click OK, and then up here where you're signed into the store in iTunes, if you see this little carrot, this little triangle pointing down, you click that and go to sign out. And now this computer is completely deauthorized and I can switch to a new computer. Okay, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.